foundation um which is kind of the updated formula from the original one which was more of a mattifying for your combination to oily skin this and this has been specially formulated for us normal to dry skin people so i'm so happy um so let's see how we got on what happened how we had to work with it what we thought how many leaks are we did how much squealing we did um let's just crack on shall we okie dokie let's get going i'm so excited this better be good oh this better be good the money that this costs better be good that's all i'm saying Right, okay, so I've got the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. But also, we have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer too. Very excited. This is a really good day to test these out because my Saharan skin is feeling particularly dehydrated and dry. I've even got like peely bits up here. So let's see if we can get rid of them, shall we? Um, obviously I'm gonna use the primer first, so let's have a look at that. Ooh, and it says we are soft silk. Thank you very much. Oh my God, I've just remembered how much I love Fenty's packaging. Mm. Oh, look at him. Oh, it's so nice. Oh God, the packaging. It like still manages to be that trendy, but it's like really chic. It's not quite so like 14 year old. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Oh, there we go. Right. What are we saying about this here primer? Instant hydration. Marvellous. Soft silk finish. Marvellous. Extended makeup wear. Oh, fantastic. Right. That's about all I can find there. Let me see if I can find anything on the website and see if it gives us any, like, further info, instructions, like, top tips. Let's have a see. Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. Details. Okay, right. Far more information on the website. Marvellous. Uh, a lightweight hydrating makeup primer for normal to dry skin that instantly nourishes with a silky smooth formula that keeps skin comfortable all day while improving and extending foundation wear. <sighs> Elite thought. Um, no more dry spells. Meet the lightweight yet moisture rich face primer that instantly hydrates skin without weighing it down and keeps it hydrated and comfortable all day while making your foundation last even longer. With the help of grapeseed oil and sodium hyaluronate, known for their hydrating powers, this fast absorbing formula feels incredibly silky smooth and melts into skin without a trace, delivering a soft silk finish that normal to dry type skin types will love. Oh, 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 okay. Um, paired with any Fenty Beauty foundation, Pro Filter Hydrating Primer also works instantly to soften skin, smooth away dry patches, and create a filter like blurring effect. Yes! Right, let's try this then. Okay, so I got these from Boots. This was 24 great British pounds, which like scares me a little bit. So let's hope it's like the best thing I've ever put on my face, shall we? Hello? Oh. Oh. I guess, oh. I don't know if it's scented or not. It might have a really subtle vanilla -y scent it's very subtle if it does oh oh my god that texture is well weird it's like a milky gel oh yeah there's definitely a scent to it now now i've put it like right next to my nose um but i wouldn't say it's like overly perfumed or anything like that it's just a really nice fresh scent oh my god that texture is really weird um like, I expected, whenever I use, like, a hydrating primer, 
why did I say it like that then? Primer. Um, it like feels really wet and it like goes really sticky, but this, it's like gone. Yeah, that's really weird. Oh, I like that. Okay. Oh, that feels a little bit tacky, a very, very tiny bit, not much at all. Have a look close up. I've still got pores, what's that about? Why? Why have I still got pores? Ugh. I'm only joking, don't worry. Um, it's like just disappeared. But it just fit, right, it feels like I've put a really good quality moisturizer on. Oh, it maybe is blurring a little bit, you know? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna say that has blurred around there a little bit. Maybe if I, maybe if I put like half a bottle on. Okay, I'm actually gonna put a little bit more on around there and just see what see what cracks really. Hopefully not my face. I'm having to really remember that I've done my eyes as well because I keep wondering to they're just like what I put there. <sighs> Can you imagine? It takes me ages to do my eyeshadow and then I just wipe it off with primer. Okay, do you know what? I've put a little bit more on round here and I do think it's actually made a little bit of a difference. Pore wise, I would be quite happy on like a no makeup day to go out with just that on as a bit of a skin finisher. It is actually really blurring and like the more it dries down, the more it's doing it. It's like every time I look in the mirror, the pores have gone a little bit more. Okay, so I'll be sleeping in a vat of this from now on. Thank you so much, Rihanna. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's like watching my pores disappear. That's really weird. Right, and then I went for the upside down package. Then I went for the uh, new hydrating version of the Pro Filter foundation. Um, in the other one, I got 150, which was, when I was in the shop, it was an absolute match for my skin tone. But once it was all over my face, it kind of just... I don't know, it looked like too washed out. So I've gone a little bit warmer and I've gone for the 170. Um, so hopefully that just works a little bit better and is a little bit warmer for me. Oh, oh, it's like in a squeezy tube. Ooh. Okay, so this is the, this is the packaging. Wasn't expecting that at all. Rubin's in the background. Don't worry, I'm not talking to myself. <gasps> Were you waving? Say, look, actual person. Um, right, squeezy tube situation. Okay. Okay, massage well. I think I should come with that on like a care label. <laughs> massage well. Um, okay, massage this, I'm presuming. Hydrating long wear foundation. Right, so I'm going to put this on with a brush because that's just what I'd normally do. I can really keep wanting to look at my face. I'm like well impressed with that. Poor blurring situation. Um, right, let's try this then. Ooh, where's my brush? Um, okay. Okay. So, that looked like a lot of pumps. Um. Oh my god, I already like this colour so much better on me. Oh my god, that is so much better. Oh, it smells gorgeous too. It's like, it, oh, I wouldn't say it's fragranced. But there's a really nice scent to it. God, this colour is so much better than the 150. God, that colour match, man. That's absolutely... Oh, my God, I love it so much. I love it so much. I really feel like I'm getting there with my foundation shade matching at the minute. Like... I've really struggled with my undertones and I've got like lots of different undertones. So I've really struggled with finding the right one that like doesn't kind of change as it goes on my skin and it just works with my undertones. All 84 of them. <laughs> but I realise I've got nothing to whinge about when it comes to finding the right shade with foundation. Oh my God, that's like, <gasps> that's just oxidising to my actual skin colour. I'm so much happier with that shade. Oh my god. Oh! Okay. Okay. <gasps> right, okay. So, uh, first impressions. Like, sometimes when you get a hydrating foundation, it feels, like, slippy and it looks quite, 
um, not oily, but it looks shiny. Do you know what I mean? Like they've gone overboard on the look, it's hydrating, your skin looks wet. Um, whereas this doesn't look that. It just looks like there's a nice, like healthy sheen to it rather than it's got shiny stuff on it, um, which is absolutely awesome. And it does just look like I've got just nice healthy skin underneath it. Oh my God, I love it. <gasps> the color is incredible. Right, I've definitely found my shade. And now I feel like I can go look at all those like shade matcher like charts that show all the other brands and I can actually like get somewhere now. Marvelous. Oh, wow. And it's so comfortable as well. Okay, so I have lots of fine lines and I've got kind of my, my smile lines there, which I love. I never ever want to get rid of them. Um, and it's like, it hasn't got rid of the texture on my face because then I'm not going to look human, am I? But it hasn't like settled into them and it hasn't made them worse or look worse. I think sometimes, especially with like concealers and things, um, once they kind of sink into the texture, they dry down and it, they just make it look worse. They just, just look way, way worse than it ever did. Um, but yeah, this is just, it just looks like my skin. It just looks like my skin. Okay. I love it. Also, I really struggle on the tip of my nose for foundation to stick there. Like I constantly have to keep like dabbing it and touching it up. And this, touch wood, seems to have just covered it and it's absolutely fine. I don't know why, nothing will stick to it. Oh, okay. I love it. I'm so happy I finally found my shade and I know I've got nothing to complain about as a lighter skinned person. I know I've got nothing to complain about skin tone foundation wise at all but i have struggled to find an exact match and i feel like i found it which is which is wonderful which is wonderful um yeah <gasps> right okay i really like it shall we try a little bit more and see how it builds or at 27 quid a bottle are we gonna just leave it there I did it! I found the right one! Oh, Look, there's no light, you can't see a blend, can you? Like, oh, no. that is just, just... smoother. Yeah, exactly! Like, I know it's there just because... Yeah! Texture. But look how, like... Can you see, like, the, the texture on my face? Yeah. Like, it doesn't get rid of it, because it can't. Otherwise, that's a mask. Yeah. Um. But I feel like it hasn't made it look worse. It hasn't, like, sunk in and, like... What's the word? emphasized it yeah do you know what i mean i'm gonna put my phone on charge and sit on it for a while okay another thing yeah i'll put the veg on okay thank you and i'll go pick out all the peppers hold on Oh, that's one thing to notice. My forehead literally has got peeling bits on it. Like, it's so dry. I did that thing before where I exfoliated and it's kind of lifted the dry bits. And I'm really only seeing one bit there. Like, usually if you've got dry skin, anybody with dry skin knows what I'm talking about. As soon as you put a foundation on, it just outlines all of the dry bits, all of the bits that are starting to lift, and it's so annoying. Um, oh my God, powder foundations are the worst for that. But yeah, the only bit I can see is a bit there. Like if I really look and I know what it is and I know where it is, you can tell. But it's definitely not clinging and like outlining it and making it look worse at all. <gasps> I really love it. I really love it. Okay, okay, right. Okay, so I'm gonna powder now and I'm gonna use my Revolution um, setting powder. So I'm gonna use that. Obviously I've just bought a Fenty foundation and primer, so I was not then gonna spend another 50 million pounds on powders too, but I think that might be my next purchase. Okay, so the way I do my powders um, is I use light pink and medium pink and I tend to kind of build up some dimension into my face that way, but I really don't feel like I need a lot because I feel like this shade match is so good. It hasn't made me look all one dimensional and weird. So that's marvelous. Okay, so that hasn't caked in the slightest. Like, I love this powder. Even though I've got dry skin, I still like to set with the powder. 
and this powder doesn't kind of make you look really flat all the time you still do can you still do can you still do can get that shape through it especially if you put like a hydrating setting powder on as well and obviously i don't use a lot of powder i use the tiniest bit i definitely don't bake honestly the texture of my face just looks so much smoother <gasps> like it still looks like skin but it just looks better then i'm going to switch to the medium pink I can't believe the difference it's made to my texture there and my pores <gasps> or lack of them look do you see what i mean you kind of get a bit more dimension and a bit more warmth without going for the orangey brown uh bronzer effect which on pale skin can be a bit tricky okay let me go do the rest of my face and then we'll come back and we will discuss our final thoughts on the new fente pro filter hydrating primer and foundation back in a minute Ta-da! There we go. Face all finito Um, Right then. On to these here uh, Fenty products. Um, Right, I'm absolutely besotted with this primer. This primer is now going to be my go-to primer. Um, I wanted to say every day, but it's so expensive. Um, But no, like life's way too short to be like treating yourself but then keeping it locked away because it was expensive. So maybe it will become my new everyday primer. Um, right, a real, things I like about it. Okay, so one, the packaging is beautiful. I really love the colouring. I love the brushed glass. Um, I just think it looks very chic and it looks like I've spent some coin on it, which, you know, that's fine. Um, the texture of it is like nothing I've ever felt. It's like a really nice milky gel go with me on that one to be honest um so yeah loving it absolutely loving it the um finish of it it like it's it dries down to just feel like you've got a really nice quality moisturizer on and blurs out all of the texture and the pores um so yeah absolutely love it it didn't feel tacky but they definitely felt to be something there so you could totally wear it on its own if you're having a no makeup day and you just want your skin to look a bit more flawless um but yeah absolutely loving that one <gasps> the foundation <sighs> um like i said i know i've got absolutely no room to complain about finding a shade match but it is something i've struggled with with having like different undertones on my skin um finally this one i feel like has been not only a shade match a color match but isn't one that's kind of washed me out either it's still been a really nice warming one but then again without being too orangey yellowy so yeah i like that one the texture of it is brilliant obviously it doesn't dry my skin out because it's a hydrating one um speaking of dry skin though like i've got a peely forehead situation i've got dry dehydrated skin and it hasn't clung to any of it it's not making it stand out which if you've got dry skin you know what i mean um so yeah i'm absolutely loving it powder has gone on <gasps> do you know i've just realized i haven't actually put any setting spray on look how dewy and beautiful that looks and i've put no setting spray on yet i mean well impressed with that totally um so it's got powder on it's got a couple of layers of setting powder on it's got um contour on it's got blush on it's got a highlight on and it just looks really nice i just really like it so that was it that was my fente pro filter hydrating primer and foundation review i hope you like it let me know in the comments what um your thoughts are what you think of this look whether you've used the products and what you think if you can recommend anything else similar that i might want to try um and yeah just generally come and say hello in the comments make sure you give this video a big thumbs up make sure you share for me please we are trying our best to get to the um youtube threshold of a thousand subscribers and is it four thousand watch hours or something we're on 2600 at the moment so let's keep watching the videos let's keep sharing the videos and let's just get there because quite frankly the goalposts get moved regularly on us small creators and it really annoys me so let's just get there let's just do it let's just have a big team effort and get there um i really hope you've enjoyed this video um remember i love you
from here all the way around the world and back to here again. Have an amazing day, whatever it is you're doing. Thanks for watching. See you next time.